Hi, Samantha. You just hang in there. It'll only be a couple of minutes. Hello. This is Betty Jenner. Anything? Uh-huh. How long ago did he call? Oh, I just missed him. Okay, well, I'll be in all evening. Was there anyone else? No, I wasn't expecting anyone else. He's it. Good night.
Power Station, Officer Driscoll. Yes, what happened? Your address. Phone? Your name. Is there any chance the assailant is still in the area? Was he armed? Are you hurt? Do you need a doctor? Can you give me a description of the assailant? Now, lady, don't bathe or anything. Evidence, miss. We need evidence. The police unit will be there in a couple of minutes. Resist the attack? Look, I didn't fight him off, if that's what you mean. I was too scared. He had a knife at my throat. Yes, miss, but did you resist in any way? Did you say anything? Of course I did. What did you say? Oh, Lord, I don't remember. We're trying to help you, miss. I think I said, no, don't. S something like that. That's important, miss. Because if you consented, it's not rape. I did not consent! Okay, miss. Dr. Jameson, intensive care unit. Dr. Jameson, please, ID. Hi. Who's Hi, on tonight? Dr. Lang. Well, would you get in first, please? He's with somebody. Be out in a minute. The attack, Miss Jenner. Was it only an attempt? Or was the act completed? It was completed. I didn't hear you, miss. It was completed. The man reached climax? Yes. Please understand me, Miss Jenner. You're going to be asked this kind of question in court to establish that you understand what really happened. Look, I'm 26 years old. I am not a virgin. And I know exactly what happened. Yes, miss. Keep that ivy steady. Doc, this is Miss Betty Jenner. Rape. We'll need a smear. I see. I'm Dr. Lang. How are you feeling? Shaky. This way, Miss Jenner. Uh, Miss Jenner, anyone you want us to call for you to take you home? That's all right. We'll take you home if you'd like. Uh, call KL5. 3019. His name is Jim Bryan. Miss Jenner, do you want me to tell him what happened? I mean, I don't have to tell him anything. That's up to you. What I mean is, a boyfriend, if that's what he is, well, guys react funny sometimes. Tell him. If he's going to react funny, I, I want to know now. Whatever you say. Miss Jenner, please. A special color presentation. They died with their boots on. General George Armstrong Custer, leader of men. Let him have fallen him to hell. Sworn to duty. I'm in command here, and don't you ever forget it. And bound for victory at any price. The greater the odds, the greater the glory. Olivia de Havilland and Errol Flynn. They died with their boots on. A special color presentation. Coming to the TV5 movie, Saturday, September 10th at 1.30 p.m. What can a parent do with a teenager experiencing severe behavioral problems? 
The crisis team at Charter Hospital can assist the parents by performing an on-site assessment. It is professional, confidential, and at no cost to the parents. An appropriate referral will be made and transportation will be arranged if necessary. If you or someone you love needs help, call us, Charter Hospital of Las Vegas. Get undressed, please. Here you can uh, slip into this. Nurse, we're going to need a vaginal smear. What kind of night are you having? Hmm, average for Tuesday. One car wreck, I was DOA. About an hour ago, they brought two people in burned. Oh, is that the fire on 12th Street? Yeah. Hmm. This is the only rape we've had tonight. So far. Hmm. All right, lie down, please, and put your feet right in here. That's good. Fine. Why is he here? It's a requirement, miss. Why? I'm here as your witness. Evidence is about to be taken. I have to be able to swear to this procedure as an eyewitness in a court of law. It's on your behalf. He's right, Miss Jenner. Sorry to have to put you through all this. I suggest you check in in a few days with your own gynecologist. You might have become impregnated, and there's always a chance of venereal disease. So, but a crime? Ken Sabe, right, Doc? Is your story flaky? Well, we don't know yet. Could be a righteous rape. We'll find out. Miss Jenner, would you call this number tomorrow, please? Hillmont Station. Ask for Detective Sloan. More questions? Yes, miss. A lot more. this case. Is that what you mean, Doc? Let's go, huh? You're gonna be all right. 
hear something? No, no. That's my line. Betty, get this guy. Whatever you have to do. I'll try. It's just the questions. I know the police are doing their job, but it's like going through the rape all over again. Put up with it. Do what you have to do. Detective Sloan, and, uh... Come in, sit down. This is my partner, Detective Kroger. How do you do? How do you feel? All right, I guess. I still don't believe what's happened. Miss Jenner, uh, There are still a few questions that are unanswered, like, uh... Well, the knife. Which hand did he hold it in? The left. Is that the same hand he, uh, hit you with? I think so. What was his attitude? I mean, uh, afterwards, did he uh, show remorse? Remorse? He grinned. He tore the place apart. He hit me. Did he offer you money? By well, knowing the report, you said he robbed you, but... I told you the truth. Kroger. I'm sure you did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Crime lab, no prints. Medical? Presence of semen confirmed. Miss Jenner, when is the last time you had intercourse? I mean, before the attack. Look, I don't like this. I know what you're implying, and I don't like it. Please. When? Three days ago. Mr. Bryant, KL53019. It's none of your business. Leave him out of it. I'm sorry, miss. We have to interrogate him. Well, that's rotten. I told the cops I never saw the man before in my life. Yes, ma'am. We have to check, though. You'd be surprised how many times it turns out to be the boyfriend, after all. Why don't you believe me when I tell you something? It's not that we don't believe you, miss. It's standard procedure. We have to check everything. Miss Jenner, do you think you could help our police artist do a composite sketch of the guy? I mean, do you remember what he looked like well enough? I remember him all right. Listen, this is Kroger. Can you get Hager up here right away, please? Thank you. Miss Janet, do you know... Do you know what an M.O. is? That's the way a criminal operates, isn't it? Right, exactly. Now, you see, a rapist in his own way has an M.O. like uh, a bank robber. I mean, personal characteristics, telltale things he does. Now, I'm going to have to ask you some very personal questions to help us establish an M.O. on this guy, okay? Will you help us? Yes. Now, did he, uh, did he tie you up? No. Did he fondle or touch you in any way? 
Oh, look, isn't there a policewoman I could talk to about this? Miss, we only have two policewomen in this precinct. One's in court right now, the other's out on a case. Miss, you must understand that the answers you give us are fed into a computer downtown that will help give us a profile on this guy. Do you understand? Uh, can we get on with it? Did he uh, um, fondle no. or touch? Did he force you to commit any unnatural sex acts? No. Did he ask you to? I mean, like uh, an invitation? No. The act itself, how long did it take? I don't know. Guess. Minutes? During the act, did he say anything? I mean, any endearments, obscenities, anything at all? Mm -mm, nothing. Morning. We'll finish this later. Morning, Ken. Jenna, this is Ken Hager, our police artist. Well, why don't we get right to it, Vicar? Okay? Sure. Now, uh, Miss Jenner, which one of these facial outlines most resembles that man? like this, just ordinary. The only thing that wasn't ordinary about him was his voice. Uh, a whisper, a hoarse, raspy whisper. The uh, sideburns? Like that. Uh, ears? This one. Flat against the head like that? I'm not, I'm not sure. I, th I think so. Is this the man? Yes? Okay, Ken. Thanks, you can go. To... Well, there's one less I have to do today. Yeah, it looks that way. So long. I don't understand. I mean, if you had this We don't thing, know I... his name, miss. But you're the fourth victim in the last month and a half that's given us the same description, the same M.O., the same in every detail. The fourth? That's right. You believe me now? Of course. Well, what if I was his first victim and not the fourth? What if you didn't have a picture of him on file? Then what? You didn't believe me! Go away. Maybe it'll go away. Haven't you suffered enough to know it won't just go away? If an injury on the job has left you in pain, waiting could make it worse. Schwartz Chiropractic Offices, recognized by over a thousand insurances, local businesses, and hotels, offers free spinal examination. Call 737-0564 for an immediate appointment. Are you in the market for a great used car and truck at the lowest possible price, terrific terms, and a 10-day free trial and exchange program that takes all of the risk out of buying a pre-owned vehicle? Then you need to come see me, Jan Laverty Jones, at the Fletcher Jones Toyota Used Car and Truck Center. Down here, we have the greatest selection of used cars and trucks that have all been personally selected by our used car manager and me. So come on down and see me. I promise you total satisfaction and the lowest possible price. Fletcher Jones Toyota, where nobody treats you better and nobody's cheaper than Fletcher Jones. KPDU, TV5, Henderson, Las Vegas.
hell's going on? They pulled me off the job and everything. Said there was some kind of a... What? I can't hear you. Will you turn around? I said a guy broke in the house. And he raped me, Ben. What? He did what? A man came to the door. And he said he had a package to deliver. So I let him in, Ben. The next thing I knew, he had his hand over my mouth and a knife at my throat. Well, kid, where was the kid? The baby slept through the whole thing. What, you didn't scream? I was afraid. What are you? I was afraid I'd make the baby. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. What makes sense? I was afraid. He had a knife. Did you call the police? No. Figures. Was I called you. Did he hurt you? I, are you all right? I'm great, Ben. I'm just great. Yeah, um, g give me the police. Ben? He took the TV. Special alert all units, sectors 15 through 21. Sketch number 73-91406. Armed and dangerous. Suspect wanted in five cases in Hillmont area. 211, an attack. Well, my husband must have ordered something. Come in, please. Okay. Put it right there. Wait, just a minute. Here you are. Thank you. Come. Have a nice day now. Thank you. Nothing so far. Hey, what are you doing? Freeze. Police. What? Hold it. Don't move. Okay, now turn around. Hey, would you... Would you tell me what's going on, please? That's his ID. What about that lady he was delivering to Mrs. Keeley? We talked to her, no problem. Check his truck. Yeah. Nothing. No loot, no weapon. Of course, we didn't go through the wrap package. Mm -hmm. Miss, you could take those cuffs up now. That's right. Mm -hmm. Did you impound the vehicle? Yep. Good. Get a search warrant from the lieutenant, will you? So you can search those packages. Yeah. Give him his rights? We did. Okay. Thank you. Sit down. Sit down. What's your name? Andy Coleman. Andrew Henry Coleman. Did you understand the rights as explained to you by the officers? Yeah, sure. Do you wish to give up your right to remain silent? Look, I, I'll tell you guys anything you want, but what is going on? In a minute. Do you wish to give up the right to speak to an attorney and have him present during questioning? A lawyer? Yeah, a lawyer. Look, I don't need a lawyer. I didn't do anything. You understand anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law? Yeah, I understand. I understand. What is this all about? Mm -hmm. Looks like me. It does, doesn't it? 
couldn't be me. Why not? Look, I know what this is. This is what you guys draw when you're looking for a guy in the run, right? But I'm not on the run. I didn't do anything. You got the wrong guy. That's the man. Second from the right. The one dressed how? Brown shirt and pants. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where did you find him? Who? That one. The third from the left. The first one over there. What about him? Looks a lot like him. But it's not. Your attacker used a knife, right? Four-inch blade? But you don't see the man here? Mm -mm. Not here. I sure would like to get this wine. But that one, that's not him. I, uh... I'm not sure. Would you mind taking another look? Please. I said I'm not sure. I just want to forget the whole thing. Yes, ma'am. You do that. Mrs. Warren, is your attacker in this lineup? On the end. On the right. He's the last one. Are you positive? Yes. Step forward when your name is called. Case number 28145, Clement J. Harrison. That's your true name? Yeah. Uh, um, yes, sir. I waved the reading, Your Honor. Preliminary hearing, May 4th, Division 106, 2 p.m. This attorney recommends $1,500 bail. I'm Liam Price, public defender's office. Your mother called assets to represent you. Okay with you? Yeah, sure. Listen, something's wrong. I didn't do any of those things they said. Relax. First thing is to get you out of here, then we'll go into everything, okay? Andrew Henry Coleman. Is that your true name? Yes, sir. Wait the reading, Your Honor. Preliminary hearing will be in Division 102, May 18th, 9 a.m. The district attorney recommends $20,000 bail. Your Honor, we request a reduction to $5,000. This young man lives with his widowed mother and school-aged sister, and although Mrs. Coleman does have a modest pension adequate for the family's needs, Andy is self-supporting and is a part-time student. Moreover, Your Honor, this is his first offense. What say the people? Well, Your Honor, the complaints indicate the commission of multiple felonies. There is a repetitive pattern here which must not be ignored. Now, if Coleman is allowed in the streets, the community itself would still be in danger. Your Honor, I'm innocent. This is just the arraignment. You'll have a chance later to enter a plea. Mr. Ritchie, the defendant's entitled to a reasonable bail. Reasonable. I find your recommendation excessive. Bail is set at $10,000. Now, don't let me down, son. You better turn up on the 18th. Yes, sir. A bond for 10 grand, that's a lot of dough. What's the charge? Rape and robbery, three counts. Oh, pass. What's the matter with you, Lee? You know my policy. No working girls, no paper hangers, no rape. But the rich don't need help. What's the matter with working girls? Mrs. Coleman, he means prostitutes. Nick, take my word. I've seen the kid. He's okay. Oh, sure. If he turns rabbit, you're gonna make good, right? No, this is what'll make good. Title to their house. Oh, great. Assessed value, $22,000. Paid up. And she has a bank check with her for your thousand dollars. And if he runs out on me, I'm gonna foreclose on this nice lady here. I then I'm the heavy? Nick, listen to me. Now listen. Her son wants this trial. He wants it. Please. The time she chose no deliveries that day between 3 and 4.30. How come? I don't know how come. Maybe I got caught in traffic. Maybe I stopped for coffee. Maybe you stopped to knock over Mrs. Brownlee, huh? 
What do you say, Swifty? No, I didn't. Wow, I didn't even know they were making a tape. How did you get a hold of that? I made a discovery motion. They had it come up with everything. So... So... What do you say about all this, Andy? I didn't do those things. I know it looks bad, and I... I can't account for most of those times, but I'm innocent. Okay. You say you're innocent? That's it, then. We plead not guilty. Just like that. What do you mean? You believe me. I'm your lawyer. Hey, I'll do the best I can for you. Hey, look, I know how much you guys love sex crimes. You love them, not me. I hate them. Not any of us, Lee. Our circulation department loves them. And this Coleman guy's a beauty. Yeah, the DA doesn't mind publicity. He loves it. But do you realize how prejudicial that is to the defendant? He winds up drawn and quartered before he even gets to trial. I don't know about them, but I gotta turn you down, or it's my neck. Sorry. But ditto. Oh, thanks a lot. I'll take it personally. Up the fourth estate, Lee. Hey, wait a minute. Well, Lee, I want to talk to you. Uh, what? You've been on a winning streak lately, haven't you? Ah, uh, yes. How many? What difference does it make? This isn't a numbers game. There's a guy's freedom at stake. How many acquittals in a row? Four, five, eight. Eight? No wonder you want to win this one so badly. Please, Jerry, cool the publicity. Yeah, I know. I'll talk to you later. Wicked Love Affair scorches the screen. The postman always rings twice. A special color presentation. A drifter and a young wife fall into an evil romance. You love me so much that nothing else matters. And their passion leads to murder. I'm going to you for everything like that. I hope it's not if you do it right. Lana Turner, John Garfield. The original Hollywood classic is now greater than ever in color. The postman always rings twice. Coming to the TV5 movie, Saturday, September 3rd at 1.30 p.m. U.S. News wants to send you a free clock stereo system. Right now, we're in the U.S. News mailroom sending this clock stereo system free to people like you who've responded to a special offer. In a minute, I'll be back to tell you how you can get yours. But first, a word from the president of U.S. News, Fred Drasner. Do you believe this? Superman's 50th birthday on the cover of Time. Basically, who cares? I can watch this stuff for free on television. Why should I pay to see this? Max Hedrick, please. He grates on me to start with. <laughs> U.S. News gives you the news that's relevant. It gives you a more professional side of really what's going on. During tax time, you'll find something about taxes. Job opportunities in the future. The U.S. News, the world news. It's got the meat and the potatoes and, uh, you know, not a lot of whipped cream. At U.S. News and World Report, we provide information you need for life management. Before the stock market crash, U.S. News told you it's time to get out. Then we gave you the best ways to invest your money, how to find and pay for the best colleges for your kids, the latest advice on eating right and staying healthy, and where you can find the best jobs for the future. All this plus how the important national and international news affects you. U.S. News and World Report. We're producing the finest news magazine in America. Take it home, drive it around the block, kick the tires, and if you don't like it, send it back to us and we'll give you your money back. To subscribe, call this toll-free number now and we'll send you this exclusive AM-FM clock stereo free. This sophisticated sound system has twin dynamic range speakers for full, rich sound, plus a programmable LCD quartz alarm clock. Call now and get 34 weekly issues of U.S. News for just 77 cents an issue. You'll save more than 60% off the cover price. Pay in four easy installments of just $6.49. You can even use your MasterCard or Visa. All this and the clock stereo is yours, free. But hurry, these clock stereos are going fast. So call now, 1-800-435-8600. KPDU, 
ABB5, Henderson, Las Vegas. John? You know, if I could just pick myself a winner, I could give up doing this for a living. How are you? I'm fine. Did you have a chance to go through these reports? Yeah. Well, what about those three women, huh? What are you looking for? Criminal records? No. What? No, I don't think you'll find any. I don't think. No, what I want, I want their private lives. Husbands, ex-husbands, lovers. Scandal would help a lot. Scandal. Must be the DA's witnesses, right? That's right. So why a private investigator? Hmm? I cost Lee. Aren't you going to use your own people? Good men. Sure they are. They're also overworked and underpaid. No, I want to go in strong. You getting reimbursed for this? Probably not. It could be on me. On a public defender's salary. Come on, doing this, you're going to end up broke. Wrong, my friend, wrong. Now, look, I got lucky this year. I am eight for eight. You hear that number? So I'm thinking of you as an investment. No, no, I am. Now, if I win this one, I finish off the string with a flourish and quit. And nine in a row makes me famous. And famous leads to rich. Private practice, top dollar. And John, money rubs off, you know. I like this style, Lee. All right, I'll gamble with you this time, but half price. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. I do appreciate it. Yeah. But just remember me when you start getting the $20,000 fees. You're my main man. The way my hands are, I can't hold on to anything. I'm sorry, Mom. It's not your fault. Did I say it was your fault? Um, well, what's, uh, what's, what's on TV? Cops and robbers. Sorry. Mom. You believe I'm innocent, don't you? Of course. Andy, knock off, will you? Something weird's going on. Mr. Price will figure it out. You said you like him. Yeah, yeah, but what if he can't figure it out? I mean, I could go to jail for, I don't know, 10, 20 years for something I didn't do. That won't happen. The only thing is... The only thing is what? Let, 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 let me be honest. Mom, it looks so bad. Three women identified you, Andy. One could surely make a mistake, but three. What am I to think? I don't care how upset she is. All this time, she was just going through the motions, pretending she had faith in me. Andy, no. Well, she's got a point, huh? I mean, it looks so bad. I don't care how it looks. You couldn't have. You just... couldn't. <laughs> Mama. Andy, I'm scared. Don't be scared, Jen, huh? Just stick with me. Don't be scared. Yeah? Yeah, that's me. Mr. Ritchie? Oh, yeah, well, well we've been away. Yeah, yeah, huh? Okay, we'll be there. Well, I was a DA. 
9 a.m. on the 18th, you get to tell your whole beautiful story in public. So that's what's eating you, that it's in public. Yeah, I love the whole beautiful scene in public. You were rotten the whole time at the lake. So that's what it was. Oh, that and, and the idea that some guy made it with you. Nobody made it with me, Ben. I was raped, damn it. Don't you know the difference? Yeah. And I've been thinking about something one of those cops said about you. That you were, uh, what do he say, uh, provocative? Those tight slacks you wear and you're always showing all that cleavage? Maybe you were asking for it. You know something, Ben? You stink. Hey, Mr. Price. See the day's paper? It's a great story about you, uh, Leon Price, going for a no hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, who needs it? Mr. Price's yeah. office. Hey, excuse me, a minute, okay? Oh, uh, hello, Helen, it's me. Listen, do something for me, will you? Call the liquor store and have them send Jerry Cohen a case of scotch. Good stuff, my cat. To his office? No, no, not to the newspaper, to his house. Now? Yeah, thanks. Talk to you later. Huh? Hi, Tony. Larry, how are you? Listen, I hate to be the one to do this to you, but I'm cutting the string today. Uh -huh. Fred, it's the end of your no-hit ball game. This is one preliminary that's going to trial. Oh, sure, sure it is. I'm sure you're right. But listen, you don't mind if I take a good whack at chopping down some of that evidence, do you, Frank? Huh? I'm counting on you. <laughs> how are you, Andy? You okay? Yeah. All right. Don't worry about it today. Something I want you to know, just in case, all right? Now, usually in a case like this, when one complainant is on the stand, yeah. we have the right to keep the others out of the courtroom so they don't pick up on each other's stories. Understand that? Yeah. All right, but in this case, I want them here. Why? Tell me. I don't, I don't know about these things. It's a gamble. It could backfire, but uh, now you're the defendant. You can overrule me if you want to. No, no, no. You're my lawyer. Anything you say. Good, 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 good. Everyone, please rise. Division 102 of the Municipal Court is now in session. The Honorable Arthur K. Howell, Judge, presiding. Please be seated. Preliminary hearing, People versus Andrew Henry Coleman. Mr. Ritchie. Uh, Miss Betty Jenner, please. Point out the man who attacked you. He's the one. It's, uh, it's Miss Jenner, isn't it? You're not married? No. Have you ever been? No. Have you had boyfriends? Yes. How many? Objection. Sustained. Do you, uh, do you have a boyfriend now? Yes. Mm -hmm. And do you have sex with him? Objection. Your Honor, I'm trying to establish that the complainant even knows what rape is. Then rephrase your question. Very well. Miss Janet, do you know what rape is? Well, Miss Janet, what is rape? It's forced intercourse. And what is intercourse? I'm not a virgin. I know what intercourse is. Would you uh, define it for us, please? Objection. Witness has adequately answered the question. Sustained. Miss Jenner, have you ever had an abortion? Objection irrelevant. Sustained. Very well. Miss Jenner, your apartment is on the first floor, isn't it? Ground level. Yes. But there are no bars or grating on your windows. Is that right? That's right. 
And Miss Jenner, you do know that there's an alley behind your building that goes right past your bedroom windows. Yes. What's that alley used for? I don't know. Deliveries to the building. And to the building next door, is that right? I guess so. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty big buildings, aren't they? Wouldn't you say there's about 100 tenants between them? And Miss Jenner, do you know that a lot of people in that area use that alley as a shortcut? I guess so. You guess so. Then would you guess that there's a fair amount of traffic in that alley? Yes. Now, Miss Jenner, do you have shades on the windows of your bedroom? I have curtains. And on the night in question, the night you came home, the 20th, did you draw those curtains? I don't think so. You don't think so? Well, according to Officer Riley's report, when he got there, the curtains were not drawn. Did you close them and then open them again after the alleged rape? No. So you didn't close those curtains at all, did you? Isn't that right? That's right. Now, Miss Jenner, isn't it true that one of the first things you did when you got home that night was to get undressed? I changed from a dress to a house coat. In your bedroom, with the curtains open. Yes. Mm -hmm. And did you turn the lights on? Yes. And so there you were, with the lights on, alongside a heavily trafficked alley, parading around half nude in front of an open window. Is that your usual way of undressing? I don't have a usual way. Sometimes I draw the curtains and sometimes I don't. Depending on what? Depending on whether you feel like playing games that night with whoever is passing along in the alley? Objection. Counsel is imputing a motive to the witness that is false and irrelevant. Your Honor, I have not countered Mr. Ritchie's objections until now, but this line of questioning is crucial to my case. Objection overruled. Very well. Now, Miss Jenner, do you find it titillating to undress in front of open windows? No. But don't you think that maybe a male passerby might find your behavior titillating? It never entered my mind. Well, maybe it did. Maybe that's exactly what happened. Maybe a male passerby came along and took you up in your invitation. Objection. What were you looking for, Miss Jenner? A casual quickie? You're wrong. No further questions. The question will be stricken from the record. Yes, Your Honor. We'll take a ten-minute recess. You were rough on her, man. Awful rough. Yeah, we'll say thank you, Buster. That's your best shot, understand? Oh, Mr. Ritchie, I've been looking at that man, the defendant. It's possible that I... I spoke a little too hastily the other day. The fact is, I... I'm not even sure it's the right man. N no, honestly, I'm just not sure now. His ploy worked. He intimidated you. Oh, Mr. Ritchie, I've made a whole new life for myself. I can't let them dredge up my past like that. I can't. And as I say, it, it was very dark. I, I just don't remember. People like you... Well, don't you come crying around here later. Goodbye, Mrs. Brownlee. Mr. Ritchie. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Warren just left and they... You mean they just stepped out for the recess? No, sir, they've left. Gone, period. And Mr. Warren said to give you this. Mr. Warren. Could I see for a moment? Excuse us. I think you ought to know the other two witnesses have just had a sudden lapse of memory. They'll probably withdraw their complaints. Now, I want to tell you that solely on your testimony today, I'm sure the judge is going to send this case to trial. But I want to know now, are you going to stand firm? Because if you're going to take a powder in me, too, I just as soon stop spinning my wheels. We can drop all charges right now. 
Well? Look, is he... The defense lawyer. He makes me feel like the criminal. Yeah. And in front of a jury, he's going to be like that and worse. His only chance is to discredit you. But the point is, do you want Coleman free to walk the streets? You're the only one now who can put him away. No, I want that man in jail. God help me. I'll try to stick it out. Thank you, Miss Jenna. Now we'll nail him. way to say this. I have to let you go. Fired. You say I'm fired? Well, it sure wasn't my decision. The manager leaned on me, and I guess he has his reasons. Look at it from the company's point of view, Andy. You're making deliveries to housewives. Their husbands are at work, the women are alone. You've had your picture all over the papers. You think I did what it says in the papers? Nah, I don't believe it, but... Uh... Well, it's what the customers think, right? So what can I do? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got your severance pay. They didn't want to, but I made them. Thanks, Mr. Kirby. You called Metro Parcel around 6? Mm-hmm. And he hadn't been in all day? All day. Was his car there? Who knows? I don't get it. You don't get it? Jenny, we have to face the fact that Andy may have run off. Mom! I don't want to think that! But if he has, then it was for a reason. And if that is what has happened, then we've lost the house. And that's all I've got. Can you understand that? Call Mr. Kirby. Something's going on. Andy? Yeah. There's something the matter with you, and you better get it fixed. driving you crazy? Come see Fred, the man with a helping hand. You can drive a this little beauty 1972 Datsun 240Z as little as 695 today. Sweetheart, do you want to say anything? No problem. If I can finance him and I will, I can finance you. Credit problem? No problem. I can and I will finance you. For whatever vehicle you are looking for, I have over 200 to choose from. GMF Motors, Boulder Highway at Sahara. Hey, Tom Tom, where you been? I'm worried. Just walking. Why weren't you at work? Because I was fired. Because of this business? Oh, Andy. Just won't quit, huh? Forget it. You'll find another job. In this town? You didn't go to class tonight either, did you? No. I'm not going to school anymore. All my friends are 
friends. I'll make you something to eat. No, no thanks. I had a sandwich. Just walking. Beautiful. A boy's best friend. Mom. You're beautiful. Is it? Policeman. Let's go, Andy. You're under arrest. What is it now? What's going on? You can have one phone call, a quick one. You better call your lawyer. I made a serious mistake in judgment. It's clear now that I'm dealing with an animal. Bail is set at one hundred thousand dollars. If I told you, if I swear to you, that I never saw Mrs. Hadley in my life. Well, she sure saw you. Picked you out of six strangers, just like the other three women. All right. All we can do now is cut our losses. And I'm not asking you, no. I am telling you. You've got to enter a plea of guilty. I'm not going to do it. Oh, yes, you are. Otherwise, they'll put you away for life. Life. The other cases were duress, threats. But you're beat up on this woman, and you can't account for your time between six and eight last night. And she made you in the lineup positive. So you have got to plead guilty. No choice. And don't expect any plea bargaining, because Ricci's got a lot. The best you can hope for is only 20 years. Beating and raping, they could give you 50. I swear to God, man, I didn't do it. You lying, best. Fantastic. Best I've ever seen. Could you do that on the witness stand? I bet you could. The ultimo sincere pathological liar. Sure, we'd bring in a couple of psychiatrists and we'd plead insanity. I know how to do that number. Your Honor, my client has tried to stop. He's tried desperately. He can't help himself. Doesn't understand the nature and quality of his acts. Compulsion. You never did believe me, did you? Compulsion. Yeah. That's it. That's how to win with a dead hand. 
You're fired, you creep. Get out of here. I don't want you to defend me. You can't fire me. Court won't allow you to go defenseless. After all, you're sick. Right? You're the one that's sick, you two-faced fake. Get out. Get out of here. Fantastic. Look, oh, man, not now. Here, take the freebie and take off because my boss is going to see me, all right? See the other thing of beauty in the back seat? All yours, baby. My place in an hour. Okay. Now, let's see how they wash our card. Nice and shiny. Come on, let's go, come on. from Coast to Coast in this year's $750,000 Pick the Pro Football Contest. No point spread, just pick the winners. Over $750,000 in cash and prizes will be given away by the Barbary Coast and the Gold Coast Hotels. All this for a one-time entry fee of $50. So stop by the Barbary Coast or the Gold Coast and sign up for this year's number one football contest. you suffered enough to know it won't just go away? If chronic pain tortures you, waiting could make it worse. Schwartz Chiropractic Offices, recognized by over a thousand insurances, local businesses, and hotels, offers free spinal examination. Call 737-0564 for an immediate appointment. Today, Fletcher Jones Chevrolet is closed, but tomorrow, for three days only, Fletcher Jones Chevrolet is having its final year-end closeout sale. The price of every new and used Chevrolet car and truck will be slashed for this gigantic final 88 closeout. Discounts up to $5,000. Over 1,000 vehicles to choose from. New cars as low as $59.95. Rebates up to $1,000. New trucks as low as $64.95. No money down financing. And don't forget our first-time buyer program. The final three-day year-end closeout sale ends Wednesday at Fletcher Jones Chevrolet. Hello, Mr. Ritchie. Have I got the right one? Frank Ritchie, the DA? Oh, Mr. Ritchie, this is Sam Lazinski. Lazinski. Well, I guess you never did know my name. I'm the court stenographer. Municipal. Division 102. Yeah, that's right. Listen, Mr. Ritchie, I'm sorry to bother you on the weekend, but I was wondering how come this Coleman guy made the high bail I heard you hit him with? Well, don't tell me he didn't make bail. I'm out here getting my car washed with the wife and the kids on a Saturday, you know? And, and, he's, and he's right here. On the loose, big as life. Let's go, Mac. Move it. Well, uh, but, uh, I'm just, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> don't knock it till you try it, baby. <laughs> go away, man. We don't want any. Elise, open up.
Get over there. Turn around. Hands behind your back. Go to that side. As a result of this discovery, people joined with the defense in moving a summary dismissal of the Hadley complaint against Mr. Coleman. In due course, we'll join in a similar motion in Superior Court asking for a dismissal of the other three counts. At this time, Your Honor, people move Mr. Coleman be released immediately on his own recognizance. With our apologies. Mr. Coleman. 
the court would like to join with the district attorney in this expression of profound regret. Son, what happened here was a grievous error. Will you accept our apology? No, sir. Case number 29304 is dismissed. You're free to go, Mr. Coleman. You may sign out in your own recognizance over there. The clerk will prepare the papers. We'll recess for a few minutes before going on with the Nesson case. You may be a winner after all. <laughs> hey, kid, look, I'm sorry. I really am, huh? Let's check. Go to hell. Yeah. There's no way to make it up to him, is there? There's only one way. Nessie. Mm -hmm. Look, won't he get off? I'm discredited as a witness now. I identified the wrong man. No, with the physical evidence, the loot, the gloves, the knife, and your testimony, we've got a solid case. And Coleman has agreed to be a witness for the prosecution. Now, I think when that jury sees the incredible resemblance, we'll put Nessie away for a long time. A long time. Well, that's something. Andy. Goodbye, Mom. You hadn't hung in there, kid. Andy, don't go, please. I've got to, Jen. Hey, come on now. I'll be seeing you, but I've got to go. Special color presentation. They died with their boots on. General George Armstrong Custer, leader of men. It's better than follow him to hell. Sworn to duty. 
I'm in command here, and don't you ever forget it. And bound for victory at any price. The greater the odds, the greater the glory. Olivia de Havilland and Errol Flynn, they died with their boots on. A special color presentation. Coming to the TV5 movie, Saturday, September 10th at 1.30 p.m. Hi, I'm J.W. Hi, I'm Tony Roy. I'm Barbara Boker. And I'm Donnie Evans of Legends in Concert. Join us Sunday, September 18th here at the beautiful Legends Ranch as Nevadans celebrate the 50th anniversary of the March of Dime. Enjoy all-you-can-eat barbecue, the Starlow Unit Band, outdoor dancing, and Legends in Concert. It's for a good cause. Proceeds will fund the state's first toll-free pregnancy risk line. For ticket information and reservations, call March of Dimes at 734-123.